Hello, gamers. It's me. I'm playing things that aren't Guild Wars today, because I have the time. Uh, we're not going to do the weekly this week. I, I confess to you, I looked at it over... Well, I guess like earlier this week. And it was like, it looks fine, but I'm not super excited about anything that's going on in it, so I would rather just like make progress on the scenarios. We're really close to Mastery 45. If you don't follow social media, there is an expansion that's coming out in like January, and I think it'd be nice to be done with the Mastery 45 so we could poke around in the expansion a bit. But I'm also like really wanting to clear some time on my schedule to stream Project Zomboid instead, and I just don't want to leave Terraformers unfinished. So we're gonna we're gonna blast through some of the normal games, and then every once in a while we'll probably pop in to do weeklies and stuff like that. You know, we'll keep it we'll keep it casual. This is, I've immediately forgotten, uh, Green Path. So what do we want to do for Green Path? We want, like, a lot of nitrates. We want a lot of science, and we want a lot of water. Does that pull me towards any of these in particular? Not really. I have kind of come around on Expansive being kind of good. Now that I understand how expansion hubs work, I still think that rover exploration centers are quite mid, but starting with a bus station is also pretty neat. And you get the 12 tritium start. I don't know, I'll go with expansive. It's also like, that's that's pretty good for science, huh? It's also been a little while since I played terraformers. Maybe I don't remember what I'm talking about. Plus five science, Eureka's good, however. Regional buildings being cheaper when we need to build a lot of spreaders. Seems like the kind of thing I would be interested in. Start me here. I don't think it really matters. We'll get our silicates down. I've seen this layout before. We'll get our nitrates down. And we'll feel generally good about life, I think. Okay, I'm thinking... My my new philosophy, not that I need a new philosophy because we've been doing all right lately, but my new philosophy is take buildings immediately when you can play them that turn and start producing things. And if that's the philosophy we're going to use, I can build a lab this turn and get plus one science this turn. So that's got to be good, right? Maybe. We'll see. I did, to be straight up with you, I would take a second lab. And now I think we've kind of got the luxury of choice where you can grab a tritium thermal generator. What do we need to make this lab pop? Nothing. We're done next turn by virtue of our minds. So in that case, just grab me more titanium. Not really seeing an appealing expansion hub spot yet, but we'll keep our eyes peeled. We've gained a trade route. A uh, robot hub. How good would a robot hub be right now? Not great, but uh, let me hit you with this. I'm not going to have 22 silicates anytime soon. So I'm going to go ahead and grab it. And then you can come like here. I think these three are going to be... No, that's not right. You go here. These three, I think, are going to be food production buildings. Is, I think, how we're going to swing that. Is it an amazing spot for an expansion hub? Not really. But, like, it looks pretty good so far. And then I think you're going to come, like, here. And honestly... I don't know if this is right or not, but I'm going to do it. Just because I want to keep our exploration moving. I want to find additional things. I want to trade a power away even though I'm not making any. It seems okay. A tuber farm we will have the nitrates for soon-ish. So we'll probably do that. I could immediately harvest black sand dunes, which is like a little interesting, but I think I'd rather grab this titanium deposit and get that mining. 
Now I'm like, that could be okay. It doesn't grab us resources, which is why I'm like not particularly interested in it. I want to grab something that in exchange does something for me. As much as I would like to take a hospital here, I kind of want to save that science for when an animal spreader pops up. Like, I know seven support is quite a bit of support. But I'd rather just grab a support building later. But I am making two per turn. Ah, whatever, I'll grab it now. Again, let's stick with this philosophy of take stuff you can build, like, right away. And this is something we could build, like, right away. It's basically next turn we can build it. And I, I would love to see Tritium here so that I can, like, start to get this thermo generator on the board. Because I'm getting a little stressed out. About not having that online yet. Do you have anything interesting going on? You got an anomaly in a great natural site? It's possible we turn that into a city. Because it might grab a water deposit here, which would be nice. And then we can also do one of these. And our our power is weird enough that I think I am going to grab one of these. And I want it to go right there specifically, in fact. Now, you got any more tritium for me? You do. Good. You come over here. You can just come down right here. That's a nice plus eight support. Shouldn't have to worry about that for a little while. We're looking for... Really, like, another house is what I would love to see. Or, in lieu of that, a food cache, and then we can just found a city down here in this crater. I think either of those I'd be okay with. You are, like, neither of those things. I'll grab a lab, though. Lab's pretty cheap. You are too fertile soil in a weird spot for a great natural site and no expansion potential I'll probably be skipping that one do I know if the SBI server on Guild Wars 2 Mist is the only one they use yes it is the only one they use but if you are looking for something specific you will want to talk to a specific guild because NA doesn't really like do discord servers they're mostly there for socialization not coordination Natural Reserve Initiative isn't amazing. Automated Science Archive isn't amazing. Nanotube Water Filters are not amazing. I'll just take Automated Science Archive. It might be better later. And then should I grab a house? Or should I grab a soil factory? I'll take a soil factory. Am I having fun against Mag? I, the same thing that is always true against Mag was true again this week, which is that the Mag matchup is never as bad as you expect it to be, but it's also never fun. We had better content than I expected, but my expectations were set very low to start with, and as a result, I was like, oh, it wasn't that bad. <laughs> it's, the, it's the same story every time we have that matchup. Now this is a weird spot for a city to go. I guess you would do like a house here and a support building here and then this is like free space. So I'll hit you with one of those. And now we're looking for like a robot hub so we can get this tile so we can put this photovoltaic field down. We have spent most of our available power at this point. And in fact, I don't even take like a delivery drone to do it. Because then we can go yeah, and we can go yeah. Move out here, harvest it. And then I need three silicates. It's so doable. And now we got power. We probably shouldn't do this anymore. But then what should we do? Man, I don't know. Like, that's not great, but it'll buy me a little bit of time. There's not a ton out there that I'm interested in. Like, where would I want to go next? You're going to have a bus station eventually, so maybe we should know, like, what those tiles are, but the time is so long. I'm just going to grab a bunch of the three-time tiles and hope that works. You have water and an anomaly and a fertile soil. 
Uh, I could probably found that. And you're a lava tube. I think that's our next candidate for a city for sure. And then you've got an aquifer, a large nitrate, and a large silicate at a minus one if we give you a bus station and some kind of water if we give you a bus station. You need a train station is what you need. You need a train station for real. I really think I'd just rather have Misha get efficient bacteria spreaders, get a research center. I don't need to spend that. I need to explore science styles. We're making three per turn, and yet it doesn't feel like it's enough. So let's grab that. It's just a normal aquifer. It is a candidate for an expansion hub, though. That's four tiles that it gets. That's a great candidate for an expansion hub, in fact. I think I would breach that aquifer to get it. And then this is just huge. What do you want me to say? We go research center. Yeah, I'll have enough power to do this. We go research center. You're going to be a house eventually. You'll be a robot hub. Aquifer. Nitrate deposit. Now we need power. We knew this day would come when we ran out of power. Three, six. Only have one trade route. I kind of got to let that sit for a turn. What I can do instead is look for a nice thick nitrate deposit. This simply doesn't exist. What I can do is uncover some of the water tiles down here. Okay, plus 10 power is nice. Yeah, now we can just do it. And then wait on titanium to do it again. Move you over. Move you over. We should not do that. That's good enough. And you know what? Honestly, like, save the power. We gotta import life forms. We need 14 science. We make three per turn. We can explore one science tile. We'll have that in four turns. Not stressed. I'll take a second lab. I need to explore silicates this turn. Could I be so lucky to find silicate and science? I could not. So I guess we'll go here instead because it's cheap. And then we'll go here because the time cost is cheap. And then we'll go here. And then we don't have an empty tile to put a bacteria spreader on. But I can set up a mine. I guess next turn I'll build a lab. Specifically, I wanted to go on that anomaly, so I need to wait for the power anyway. I think this is okay. It's honestly because I don't have a place for the bacteria spreader. Give me automated science archive out of my hand right now. Skip it. Give me methanogenium. I need these robots. They're very important to me. I need... Okay, it's not going to happen this turn. Give me the lab for two science. Five science per turn on turn 14. We're, we're pretty ecstatic about that. We don't have the power to explore. So instead, I'm going to hit you with a gene mod on methanogenium. And then next turn, we're going to go like this. We're going to get the satellite. We're going to go here. It's going to give us four titanium because we're lucky. And then we're going to build... God, we don't have the space here, though. Are you good? No. You suck. You're stinky. All right. Uh, we're going to go here, and that's where we're going to put our bacteria spreader. Because I'd rather grab these tiles for real with an expansion hub. That seems good to me. I need more of these. I don't know where the tritium's going to come from, but I need more of them. There's our titanium. You can come here. That's fine. 
You can come here. That tile's useless. You can spread methanogenium here. We're on our way. You can't do anything this turn. Just import. Give me Arctic Hairs. And then you've got one more expansion, don't you? This is going to be a pretty hefty unhappiness penalty, and we are at minus 20 right now, so I don't really want to do it. What I would really like to do is... i got to get more food. I need, like, nitrates. We can trade you now. And I think importing power... No. Importing tritium one time so we can build the generator is a good idea. But, like, I need, I need food and food-producing buildings. I will take a research center if you're going to give me none of the above. Looking for tiles that cost three to explore? We still have some. Give me more titanium. We could spread animals right now. That's so funny. <laughs> we could also found this city because it's going to be really good. Four power. Can't quite get there yet. Give me an alpine pine forest. Support's a little worrying. Food is a little worrying. Everything else I'm feeling alright about. Like, our economy isn't great. This is a problem. This is a problem. But in the grand scheme of things, it's not that bad. I can't be mad. Like, I did literally ask for one. What do you do again? Every rover exploration center recharges one faster. That doesn't seem very good. I'd rather have the food because I can build it right now. Stick with the philosophy. The philosophy is if you see a building that you can build that turn and it's not terrible, you should probably take it. I don't know if it's a good philosophy, but it's a philosophy we're going to apply this game and we're going to see what happens. And then next turn, I'm just kind of I'm waiting on you. You're a ways away. I'm just really, like, waiting on you, and you're going to go somewhere in here, probably, because there's no more space in New Dodoma. Would it also be worth it to do this? So that if we draw a house card, we could just play it, and we could start getting support. I think it would be. Plus 20 for support for every pop. We have two pop right now. That's not very good. I would rather double my resource production. It's in many ways the worst house, but it is a house, so I can't be that upset. Give me a development center, and then give me a house. And then give me this tile. We could put another spreader there if we want to. You, come up here. It's going to be a long time before we set that off, but we do want to build a city here. A gigantic titanium deposit. Like, I don't, I don't know what my plans are for that. But it seems like the kind of thing that I want. So we're going to start working towards it. And then let's also just keep the exploration train moving. Give me something cheap, like three. Eh, I would do the four, just so we can better understand the spot where we want to put our expansion hub down here. I will spread black sand down here, just for free terraforming parameters. I will take another food. I will... I probably don't need another lab at this point. I'll take another tritium thermal generator. And then get back on that. And then I'd really like to explore tritium. Sure. Plus three. Good enough. You can also be food. Got a nice plus six per turn now. You can also explore. There's no tritium down there to get, so I guess you'll go here instead. We're at seven. You any good? No. Horrendous city spot. At least we know. Uh, we don't need another farm at this point. Another research center would be nice. A couple terraforming buildings would also be nice, but I don't think we're that power rich yet. So I'm definitely taking that. And then this is my third tritium thermo generator. I guess I could do another one up here. I could do like thermal generator, thermal generator, resonance station if I see one. And these two are going to be like science buildings. That's probably fine. We're going to need the power. Like you never want to stop at plus 
six. And our food array is done too, so yeah, just give me one of these guys. And then we actually do have the power to play an expansion hub, so I kind of want to start working towards that. Do we have satellite next turn? Yeah, we do have satellite next turn. Okay. Probably not. Probably. I mean, we are playing a life form game, so like probably. And also probably. And now we're in projects territory. We love this. We, I don't think you've even seen a launch pad yet, which is kind of wild. But I would love to have two tritium per turn. So we're going to start working on that. We're going to put one of these down. We are going to put one of these down. We are going to satellite here. We're going to expand here. We're going to put one of these down. No, we should breach this first. We'll have to do it next turn. We extract, and then next turn we'll play the expansion hub. Which means I need to be really careful about spending power here. You show me two extra projects. We already researched our projects for the turn. I'd like you to import instead. I want to see, like, elephants, and then I want to prestige elephants. Uh, because it's, like, most of the score that we need. Or whales. Prestiging whales would also be pretty good. Deimos? Not right now. Project? Yes. Think Tank Condominium. It's interesting. It's interesting because we could just build it right now and it's a lot of support. So the goal of terraformers is to finish green path. But the other goal of terraformers, and this is the one they don't necessarily teach you in school, is to not lose. And I'm kind of worried about that minus 20 support. So we're going to do one of these. We're going to knock it down to minus 13. We can't go here yet because we don't have a bus station, which is a little unfortunate. But we can do a little something like this. And now we've got two separate water mines that we can set up, which is good. And then when we finish you, we'll be at water one. Will that allow us to plant trees? It should allow us to find somewhere to do an alpine pine forest. I mean, I, I literally just looked at it. It's Elysium when heat is also done. So we can plant trees there. We don't know anywhere else that we could do it. But we know one place where we can do it, and that's maybe good enough. Polar bears are 20 prestige. I mean, if we get desperate... I really wish I had more space reads right now. Whales? Yeah. It's... it's... it's space roots. It's expensive, but it's space roots, so I can't be that mad about asking for it. Now we need all of the tritium in the known universe. So, here. And here. We're at 6. We need to be at 13. That will probably get us pretty close, but we're also like dramatically short on power. Okay. If we were to build it here, I think we get at least one free aquifer trade route. So that's probably pretty good. You could also be a plant spreader. Yeah, I think this, this works for now. We have 25 titanium. I don't need that right now. We're busy with other space projects. I do think I would take another one of you just because. And I should be saving my power here, but... Well, no, I can. That's 11. Take me to 13. Next turn, I can build a spaceport. I would also love to take a landing pad. Because, like, realistically, I can just do both. Give me another one of those. 
give me I can't spend that power give me one of these that's fine we'll get we'll get both parameters going here because we always fall behind on oxygen and if we really need to get concerned with our prestige uh, elephants are a good way to go but we're gonna need to max our o2 in order to do that so let's get started on o2 early he said looking at the turn timer that was already at 24. We also want to found a city here eventually, but we need to wait on food for that. I don't know, I'm feeling, I'm feeling okay right now. We're about to enter the mid-game, and we're only at minus 10 support, so I'm not that worried about what's going on with my support right now. I like really don't like any of these. It's fine, I guess. What do you do? One support per two rocks? You seem very bad. No offense or whatever, but you seem like a bad card. This is probably important just to have in our hand. This is probably just important to have from like a, an expansion perspective. And then this is important to do from a Finnish space projects perspective. So we have no power. We'll continue importing. I would really like to see uh, elephants. Would really like to see elephants. If I don't see elephants, it's okay. There's literally no reason for you to do that. Just wait. Seems good. Gamer, would you like to just have one less support per turn for no reason whatsoever? I need to keep exploring Tritium, because I've got extra generators in my hand. I'd really like to take you, but I can't. I'd really like to take you, but I can't. I'd really like to take you, but we have a lot of science projects in hand right now. You're never going to get built. Neither of you are probably ever going to get built. You're definitely not going to get built. Seems like a kill your darling's turn. Seems like a, you only have one power turn. It's true. <laughs> it really makes... I want to finish this, but... Am I prepared to commit not having power for like four turns? Yeah, I think so. I'm not happy about it, but I think so. So next turn will be at 2 power. Next turn I'd like to be at 3 power. Next turn, it doesn't matter. I spent my tritium on something. I don't even remember what it was anymore. I wanted to start getting this tritium thermogenerator array in, but it's clearly not going to happen. I guess I would just found this city and I don't have enough power to destroy a rock. Maybe that's what I was waiting for. I bet that's what I was waiting for. Okay, now double check your math. You'll be at six, you're trading away three. You'll be at three, you can destroy a rock. You'll be okay. Uh, oh god, is this the refugees? Honestly, this may be a game where we could do the refugees. I swear to you, I'm not throwing, but there is an achievement for finishing this event that I don't have, and I'm going to try to do it. So if we're going to try to do it, that seems insanely important to take. <laughs> that seems really important right now. Uh, I guess you're probably also important in like some ways, such as. But we're going to found this city. And previously, what we thought was just going to be like, oh, it's a city, very fun, is going to be like a refugee city. It's all that's going to be here. But we make nine food per turn. It's huge. It's a massive amount of food. So we need to finish this project. This needs to finish, like, ASAP. You, we have science, so, like, you can't place it. I was just kidding. You are literally full. 
which is going to be a problem when we draw a resonance station. We might need to destroy a lab so we can put a resonance station in there. What do I need right now? I need power right now is like the most important thing, but the second most important thing after that is going to be tritium thermogenerators and food. So let's start building up our tritium supply again. And then you can import because we just simply don't have power. 32 prestige for a tree is quite good. And I think we just like have to take houses because eventually we need to put people in these things. And that just places a slum. Okay. We can we can do this. This can be done. Marsquake? I'm not that worried. Helios to power plant. Do I have an elevated tile that's not being used? Sort of. Sort of. Hold on. I do have that. Okay, you go away. Just let me think. This we should probably put down before anything else to get more titanium. It really doesn't matter what we explore here, I don't think. Give me my last import. We have not seen whales. We're pretty disappointed by that. But I would love to spend a... I, I would love a bacteria that makes atmosphere and oxygen. That seems pretty good. Next turn, you're done. We will get three power. We can destroy a rock so that we can put a house down, like here and here, probably. And that's fine. I think we're doing okay. There's a, there's a lot going on. But I th think we're doing okay. Okay, get out of here. You're done. Most important, get that finished. Next most important, destroy a rock. We need to start making... I should not destroy that rock. I should destroy that one. I would like to get to the water and the science, please. We need 10 science to build a heliostat power plant. That's fine. We don't need it this turn. What is the highest prestige thing we found? Palm tree, 32. Whales, 27, but like way easier to put down. Wait, well, like not really, honestly. I actually think triple heat is easier in a lot of ways. So why don't you prestige that, put it up to 48. It's going to be a while before we can put it down, but it's fine. And then I would really like to finish this water project because that's going to tick us over. It's going to give us a nice little support boost and we're going to be off to the races into the mid game. Next turn, we have 30 food, we can build a house, we will also have 10 science, we can use our house expansion to get the storm and volcano so that we can build a heliostat power plant. It's going to be an eternity before we have enough fridium to actually restart this thing, so we're probably just not going to do it. And now we have to think about you. We have to take houses every time we see them, I think. And I think we have to take water projects every time we see them. And then we have to throw something out. I'm comfortable seeing five projects right now, I think. Because the development center synergizes really well with Kill Your Darlings. The more projects that we can sell, the more times we can trigger Kill Your Darlings, and then it's kind of like we're automatically building a research center. Okay. You son of a... <laughs> Should have just waited. Oh well. You couldn't know. Definitely take one of those. Probably take one of those. But let's build some things first. What do we need? We need tritium. We can't just like not have tritium anymore. We're going to build a habitation module. We're going to move to this volcano. We're going to build a heliostat power plant. Plus three power per turn. We're going to... Oh, I don't have the science. Okay, fair enough. 
we're going to destroy a rock. No, we're going to destroy a rock and get ready to build a tritium thermal generator. Can I reach any tritium with three power? Mm, yes, he can. And then I, I really just think we take the house. So we come down here, we get even more power. We're getting nine power per turn. I'm feeling very comfortable with that number. We are going to increase water in like three turns, at which point we'll probably grab that expansion tile to put a plant spreader down. We also need to set up these two aquifer mines one of these days. Our water is fine, but we, we do need to get it set up. Lustaf, you've done great work for us. We have a lot of water. We could do cultural festivals pretty easily, or we could just continue importing life forms, and we could make animal spreaders cheaper, and we could do cold resistance on our uber palm trees. What are you? Please describe what sounds oxygen. They added it. Nice. Okay, so you actually have a building that can increase climate sounds oxygen now. Produces oxygen equal to oxygen. Produces atmosphere equal to atmosphere. It feels kind of wind war. I don't think I'm going to take it. What I do think I'm going to take is a house. I don't think I'm going to take a development center. I'm definitely not going to take a university. Space projects are full. Don't respect you. Would like to take you, but my hand is full, and I don't think I'm building anything this turn. So you're just going to get auctioned off. And then I guess we just start expanding up here. I would love to spend some more power on destroying these rocks. Okay, I want to get to that water deposit. I want to get to that anomaly. Is there anything else I'm going to spend power on this turn? Yeah, probably exploring and studying. We'll just do one per turn. We don't have to. We don't have to rush. Because I'd also like to build these mines. And next turn we can build another mine. Next turn you're done. That's beautiful. Minus 36. I'm not worried yet. I'm not like that worried yet. I'm a little worried. Would love to take you. Would love to take a second one of you. Enable you. Now we eat the minus one support per turn. Now is the time. We build a pine forest. It fits. Gene mod your palm trees for cold resistance because... Oh, you can only have one mod at a time. Can I undo? Yes. Okay. I forgot you can only do one mod. I thought you could just like one mod per leader. It's you can only have one mod. But that's okay. Temp 3 we can work with. Is there anything else that it would be useful to put that on? Uh, knocking Bird of Paradise to double heat seems like it'd be pretty good. Double heat single O2. That could be coming up relatively soon. Other things that could be coming up relatively soon? A house. Other things that could be coming up relatively soon. I know this is going to look weird. We're actually out of building, spot, building spots in New Dodoma right now. So it like has to go here, even though it's not as much power. We're going to have a second one there eventually. In like five turns, maybe four. And then everything will make more sense, I promise. Could also grab this giant titanium deposit one of these days. Are you good? No, you're horrible. Well, okay. 12 power. It's a ways off. <laughs> it's a long ways off. Give me this, give me this. End my turn. Water. House. About all you can really do there. Mine. I don't know what we're going to do with all this water, but at least we're making it. I guess it makes animal spreaders. You're not any good. You're going to get overridden for sure. The end is near for you. So I think we do a little bit of this, even though it's not a house, because I want you, and I want... I guess I only really like want you right now. 
Can't spread any? Is such a thing even possible? I <laughs> spent all my power? Okay, well, that's fine. I'll take a temperate rainforest. I gotta find a zone that has rainfall. I bet Marineris will. Tempe might. Machus Minor might. We gotta. We have to make inroads into new zones so we can find places to spread plants. That's all I'm saying. Give me one of those. We also gotta explore silicates. Ten and ten. Our power is fine. I don't need you anymore. I'd love to take you, but I don't have the space right now. You're good. You're fine. We aren't doing anything else with our science. So then we can do one of these. One of those. We could put plankton somewhere. Holy cow. It's not that good there yet, though. Let me poke my nose into some other zones. Tempe has no rainfall. We tried. You can go here for two power. And I think we're probably good on power now. But we still can't spread plants. So just spread me another methanogenium. Increase my heat even more. And then after that, we're probably going full time on cyanophyta. Heat looks fine. It's three per turn. We're already at one. O2 is a little behind. Atmosphere is a little behind and also takes a lot more work. Planet carrying for 11, seagrass for 6. But, like, you you do something. We have three houses in hand. I don't think I need to take a fourth. We have plus one nitrates for every population. We're not going to need it. We have so many nitrates. Just give me another spaceport. Throw the rest out. Destroy a rock. I'm going to have to put one slum down, and then it's going to get replaced with a habitation module. Build an enormous titanium mine. Are you any good? No. We could expand there, too. What do you need? Tritium? But I'm not willing to go that far out for any of this tritium. Take the science. How about that? That also gets you into Amazon. You can plant trees there! You can't plant trees there. It's too cold. <laughs> you tried. <laughs> All right, well, uh, how about here? You cannot. It's not wet enough. Okay. I've tried my best. Fucking temperature. Piece of crap. I can't really get in there. I could. if, Like, if I ate your titanium mine, you could expand here instead. I could turn you into a dock as soon as we get to water three as well. Are you any good? Sort of, actually. Like, two natural sites, titanium mine, anomaly. You're not a bad city. I just can't afford to spend 30 food right now when I've got slums clogging my hand up. Yeah, I have to play the slum this turn. Okay, well, you're going here, and then you're going to get replaced next turn. We're not quite making enough food. If we did, it's every two turns. God, we need to be making 15 per turn. That's crazy. I don't have the silicates to do that. You're right. Give me one of those instead, then. Minus 48. I'm getting a little worried. I'll take another plant spreader, probably. Homesteads are good for support per turn. I don't have a slot to do another project in. I'm going to replace you straight up. We're at 79 now. I think I need to keep exploring just on the off chance that I can find food caches. I'd really like a city together. We have only housed 8 out of 20 refugees. That's terrifying. I don't know where I'm going to find enough food to do that. 
Okay, I still can't do plankton. That's fine. We can do cyanophyta. Should probably repair this one of these days. <laughs> Just to get rid of the unhappiness penalty. Still at minus 69 unhappiness. I would, I, I would love to tell you that's nice. It's not that nice. Because it's a negative number, you see. Our plant spreader doesn't work. So there's no point expanding here. At our next O2 level, we could have animals in Amazonas, though. So it's worth thinking about putting that animal spreader down soon. So I'm dumb. I forgot that we had a free trade route. I'd like to apologize. That That's the streamer being bad. He didn't know. Probably been there for about 10 turns. <laughs> he, said he did nothing with it. Trade route's not assigned. Well, I can't assign more to you, so I guess we're going to do you. Continue to bump this water up as much as we can. A dock is always good to have in hand. Food is, I guess, always good to have in hand. I wish that I had more fertile soil spots, but I don't. And I don't remember the city location that I saw that had fertile soil. I saw one. It had was it you? It was you, but like you're you're stinky. And it's not you. And it's not you. I'll do that though. So you can't be a house. You could be a house though. I need another lab to put on that anomaly too. Or if we see a think tank condominium. It would be pretty sick. You can also go, you can be a development center. Do I want any of these? No, it's not very good support. No. No, I don't want any of these. Do I want to explore? Yes. Pretty sure I want to explore. Because it could be a food cache. Or it could be a rover museum, which is also, like, pretty good. Refugee, of course. Of course. We'll be at 28 next turn. It's... it's brutal. I have six. We can finish you next turn. We can actually finish you this turn. I think I'd rather finish you this turn. We are going to start to lose ground on the refugee front. Does that mean that I should course correct now? In my mind, yes. And the way that you would course correct is you're going to need a second city. This city is not going to be big enough to hold all the refugees. You're going to have to found this city. I, what else do you want me to say? It's the only thing we can do. Yeah. Okay. Enable you. We can think about space projects. You're just going to take too long right now, honestly. You're also going to take a long time. I'd rather have you. And I might end up throwing you out. Like, I'm not going to commit Tritium to you right now. Don't think I need an Android hub. A soil factory is the kind of thing that's interesting. Take a house. You can't build that this turn. I know you want to, but you can't. Finish that project. Start working on this one. Next turn I can build a house. Next turn I have to found a city. I'm just kidding. Do that. Man, it's painful in here. Uh, Wait, you give science, don't you? Yeah, you go on the anomaly spot. I don't I don't know what you're gonna be yet. It's you can build it this turn. Just build it this turn. Who cares? Don't care, didn't ask. Plus, you can build it this turn. And then give me one more cyanophyta, and I'd really like to pivot to back to uh plankton after that. 
Oxygen increases in two turns, and then we can put down an animal spreader. Heat does not increase for a while. We're going to be waiting for a while on plants on that one. But we're, we're sort of hanging in there. It feels really bad right now. But I actually think it's okay. So you're going to go here. We're going to destroy you. You're going to be a mine. This tile is also going to be reserved for not a house. I don't know what my plan is for you. I need stuff that makes food. I don't have any water for you, unfortunately. It would be sweet if I did, but it is not coming anytime soon. Still can't do that. You could import. Would it be better to import? Well, you don't have any power, so yeah, it would be better to import. One temperature, two rainfall. I don't think that can happen anywhere yet. 11 prestige, 12 prestige. Having a decently high prestige animal strikes me as something that could be useful. Now think this one through. What do you need? You need tritium because you're about to run out trying to finish this ocean project. Okay, huge get. Where is my animal spreader? You didn't build it yet. That's okay. Rabbit. It's support. Is like the most important part. <laughs> like, yeah, it contributes to winning the game. But also, it's support. I don't think I want to take... Uh, I should take a plant spray. We have so much nitrate. Bin you. The problem with taking a nitrate is like we can't we are a, a plant spreaders. We don't have anywhere to put plants right now. I gotta open up a zone that's like got rainfall. Or temperature. What do you think about over here, maybe? Or here. I mean, we have a lot of candidates that like should be good. We just haven't opened them yet. And how's your food doing? Also, you do have a slum placed right now, don't you? You do. Would I rather flood the planet for an extra water? I think I would here's I think I would rather flood the planet and then I would mass import food just to finish this crisis. I think is the plan. I think I want to hit water 2 because water 2 is going to open up None zones. It's going to open up none zones for growing plants. I'm changing my mind. I think we do a bit of that. I think we do a bit of this and a bit of that. And we're going heavy on food import. We're just going to knock this crisis out. It's turn 40. I've done nothing. That's a concern. You seem crazy good. You can go. I need to flood the planet so that I can place a cloud formation facility. I need to do too many things at once. I need to explore tritium. Here's the plan. Okay, we're bring it back. Good. Now, where do I get trade routes out of this placement? You get a titanium. Not good enough. You get two water, you can't even reach it. You get a titanium, not good enough. Ah, you get a silicate and a tritium. Guess what? You're a spaceport now. I don't think I need to do that import. I think what's very important now is <laughs> I spent all my tritium. <laughs> okay, fine. Uh, like this? No. Like this. 
Yeah? Maybe? I don't know, man. You seem like you're kind of good. Because, like, I want to I wanna get these. I want to get you. I would love to see a train station. Haven't seen a train station. Would love to. Haven't seen one. Ship all of it, man. The the giant heater actually does something for us here. If we could find a place to put it. Like, what if you weren't a water tile? Could I dare to dream? I don't think this is going to be an independent speech game. And placing two support, on the other hand, in, in places we already have people, that seems like the kind of thing that will go crazy. Give me a small water project. Throw the rest out. I don't care. Exploration documentary. It is going to be a tile that floods. That's unfortunate. Anywhere else that has rainfall, but not temperature. No. Only Amazonas. Okay, fair enough. Here's what you do. You build a house. Plus four support. You build a silicate mine. It's a free silicate export. You import more food. You say, I pass my turn. Because you still can't spread plants. But all when you can spread plants, you're all gonna... You're all gonna pay. A house. A cheap house. What's more, it's a cheap house. That might matter. The rest of you I don't think matter. Play your cheap house. Plus four. Immediately use two of it to get a tritium mine. I'm feeling okay about that arrangement. We're at 12 of 20. What are we looking for in terms of expansion? Tritium. Because the more tritium we have, the more tritium we can trade. In fact, we can do something like that at this point. And then you're you're pivoting off. You're plankton now. Everyone is plankton now. Just grab anything, man. If it's like a food kit, I'm happy. If it's not a food kit, I cry. And you? Listen, we need a buffer building. And you've just got stuff sitting out here that doesn't do anything. Give me an agriculture complex. Dike it. Give me a canyon view. Give me a titanium mine. It'd be nice if I could get a dock in there somewhere, but I don't think it's going to happen. It'd be nice to get that tile. I don't think it's going to happen. You're going to be a dock. I'm fed up with you. Turn 42. We've made no discernible progress towards winning. But that's okay. Two water. I sleep. A resonant station. Real... Real S. 20 water. I'd rather have 20 water than 3 trade routes. So you can, you can go, you can come in. I need to explore Tritium. And I have the power to do it. I just gotta keep this project running. Next turn I can build a house. Do I have slums currently? I have one. Only one, in fact. I think we may actually be catching up on that. Famous last words, maybe, but you never know. So it's 12 of 20. I'm going to need to build eight more houses. One, two, three, four, five, eight. We have plenty of space, man. Four, one, two, three. We're going to need to draw more houses. But space-wise, we're in great shape. We have enough tiles, I should say. House? What's your deal? Plus one nitrates per turn? Don't really care. Second dock, don't really care. Research center, kind of matters. We are at 42 science with 8 per turn. We do need a buffer building. We have an incredible spot for a think tank condominium. Holy cow. Can I explore water to build that this turn? Any water in the chat? I only need two. 
It's so doable. It was literally exactly two. Okay. We've built another house. We're succeeding. That's another expansion. Why don't you grab that? And then you could probably be a spreader building eventually. And then you... I think this is going to be the last tile you explore, and then I'm done with you. Can anything grow here? No. It is bone dry. We tried. Turn that down by two. Turn you both up by one. Ship two more food in. Any good city locations out here? No, literally none. Okay. I think I think we have a coherent plan for winning this game. We take a house every time we see a house. Do we have any highland tiles? We do, but I'd rather it be a spreader building. We have a spaceport, but it's going to be a long time before we've got enough tritium to actually do anything with it. I think we just burn those two. Animal spreader. There's a second place on the map we can put rabbits. Why not? O2 does not increase for some time. I would like to explore into a new zone. Is such a thing possible this turn? It is. You go here. You go here. That's not a new zone. You actually already knew about it. But next turn, I can explore a new zone. Bet you didn't think about that. Thinking you're all at the bag of chips looking... I don't really know. A third plant spreader is probably not necessary. A house is necessary. Ye mm, I don't have hand size for it. Pitch it. I would like to grab one of those eventually, but right now is not the time. Coming back into Wet Mensa, we'll give him a house. I don't really have immediate plans for this expansion. I'd pay two support to get a Tritium, actually. Just kidding. And then, I guess I would also do like a research center here. You know, I'll do it next turn. Why, observant viewers will be like, why has he not replaced the slum for 15 turns as minus 15 support? Because he's just like not really thinking about it. If we lose, we lose. If we lose because of that, we lose. if we forget to explore Margarita for again. It hasn't, I'm a little rusty. What do you want me to say? <laughs> it's been like a week and a half since I played Terraformers. It's not going to be the most perfect game you've ever seen. I think we probably still win, though. In many ways, despite ourselves, but I think we still win. A house. A cheap house. Nothing else that really speaks to me. Build a cheap house. Put it next... No, replace the slum. Okay, we've done it. We're actually only at minus 59 support. That's a much more manageable number. I should have done that a long time ago. Mark Ritter for going to grow plants. Get it in there. Okay. Remember, like, the whole goal of this is that we are building towards placing, like, two palm trees. And then we win. It's a very synergistic victory condition here. We don't have to do a lot. I don't even know why you exist in my hand. I don't know why you exist in my hand. I'm coming for all of you. We do need to open up another zone. We could do Terenia next turn. I think we're fine on food. I want to continue working on water imports. I want to get to water three, and then we don't have to worry about it anymore. Close you. Flood the planet. Take you. Take a house. Close. We should probably keep going.
getting tritium. Reset all of this. Free, free. Okay, that's one project done. Import two food, free trade routes. Put a tritium into another ocean project. Use your satellite on tritium. Use your satellite on tritium that opens up a new zone. Not possible. All right, use it on opening up a new zone. We can also grow plants there. In fact, that's going to be a candidate for palm trees. Soon-ish. Get a, get a giant heater in there? I should find a place to found a city in that zone. What's your deal? You're a crater. Okay, we're founding a city here. We're, we're founding a city there so that I can get a heater out so that I can put a palm tree there. You are going to go here for a plus 10. We have 36 power. Just, like, get rid of them. We're so power rich now. We can afford to splurge. You have no dock. That's so sad for you. But next water level, you do have a dock. That's so exciting for you. I can still research a project. I don't want any of it. I'll take a second dock as an emergency. I end my turn. Animal tracking seems pretty good right now. Eight support per animal I spread versus two support when I increase power, titanium, or trit. That's probably not happening that much. Food, water, and nitrate's probably not happening that much. Give me animal tracking. Give me another giant heater. Give me a robot hub. Give me a house. Build that project. I have so many tiles to explore over here, man. It's going to take a couple turns to fire that up. Okay. You, Plankton. Let's get this O2 production going. So if we build a giant heater in Terenia, the next time we increment water, which is going to happen when we finish these two projects, we can grow palm trees there. We can also build a giant heater in Elysium, which we can reach from New Dodoma if we destroy a lab and replace it with a robot hub. So we can reach... No, we can't. We can. We're just going to need to dike this, which was not exactly my plan, and then you can be the dock. So you get diked. You're going to be a giant heater next turn. This is gonna work. It's actually going to work. You need to get discarded. You've outlived your purpose. You're going to get one more exploration and then you're turning into a plant spreader. Minus 72. Big whoop, you got damaged in a sandstorm. This is the most unlucky thing that's ever happened to you. <laughs> I, I hate to say it. But unfortunately, instead of rebuilding you, we're just going to level your building. Give me a bus station. Give me extra exploration satellites. Yeah, it might matter. It might not. You go here. You go here. I'm going to wait one turn. Because then I can grow palm trees. I am going to explore over here so I can found this other city. I am going to build a house. It's going to go here. It's going to get many support. People are going to like it. I'm going to grow seagrass in Utopia Major. We're, we're beginning the green path, and some trade routes aren't assigned. Fair. Finish that project next turn. Is that done? I think you've done well. I don't exactly know if you have or not. I'm not going to be building ocean mines. I'll take flora. Heat up, oxygen up. North polar ice cap has melted. Think tank condominium. 
don't really care for the rest of these right now. Give me water. I, really, we could do like this. It's, it doesn't like really matter, but we could just do that. And now we got the heavy hitters. Get rid of these rabbits. Give me dolphins instead. Significantly better animal. You didn't hear it from me. It's just the way the game works. If you got pet rabbits, I'm sorry. I didn't make the game. I'm just playing it. Plankton? Yes. End turn. Plus 20 support for every pop. Yeah, we got a lot of those. It's like 300 support. <laughs> That's pretty good. I'll take a Marsha. I'll take... Probably don't need any of them, but let me think for a bit. We're going to found a city. Sure, you can be Katina Junction. Sure, you can bulldoze all these rocks in the way. You're going to get a bus station. You're going to expand into Terenia so that you can build a heater. You are going to expand... Ah, just like here to grab a silicates deposit, I guess. And then we have to find an empty tile. That's a geothermal spot. That's not quite going to work. We also need to get back up to 23 power, which is going to like be a little while. Do we want to take anything here? I don't think so. Do we want to build another plant spreader? Yeah, we do, because we can do palm trees now. Give me that 48. Look at that bar go up. Oh, baby. Uh, we actually win, like, next turn. <laughs> no, two turns from now. No, two zones from now. We need to find somewhere else where we can grow our overpowered palm trees. I don't know. We'll figure it out. It's only turn 52. We're positive support. This game is not hard. It's actually for babies, and I'm very good. Like, for a man, not even for a baby. I'm good for, like, an adult man at this game. Plus one water. Should probably, like, take spreader buildings anytime we see them at this point. That's where our heater could go. We just have to wait for the water to come in. We also have to finish this project before we win, because there is, need I remind you, an achievement for it. And we like achievements. Minus 84. Nah, sweating it. Show me spreader buildings. Plant spreader. Perfect. A house. Perfect. Another house. Sure. Don't let me stop you. Plus 12. Giant heater. I cannot play palm trees in that zone because I think we would win. So instead, let's take you over there. It gives us like two support per. It's two prestige, but two prestige is two more than nothing. And then I don't know, just start filling tiles out. Minus five, minus five. Eh, here's fine. Sure. I'm just thinking. I don't know if this accomplishes anything. It doesn't. It's already 3-3. Three, three. It would accomplish something here. What's your deal? Your triple temperature double water. You need to be a giant heater. That's eh, not that important. 40 silicates, no thank you. Spreader. House. Throw it out. We've also learned something very important from this game. The important thing that we've learned from this game is that if you focus heavily on food production, the rest of the game is like really easy. <laughs> <laughs> the, the other thing we've learned. 
I'm scared to build you because I think you might accidentally win the game. So I'm going to hold on to you for now. And I'm just going to explore until I can build two more houses. I mean, I, I don't need all of these. You can all go. But yeah, the, the tech of like, oh, just build houses every three turns and you can basically ignore support as a mechanic, that's really valuable to learn. And to be fair, I did get like a couple comments on, on older VOD that were like, yeah, you know that like you should be building houses instead of just ignoring them and tunneling on what the actual goal for the scenario is. I was like, yeah, you know, I know that. I didn't fully appreciate it. Until, like, I kind of forced myself to do it. So this has been valuable. I have a better spot. Like, do you still have spaces open next to your terrain features? You do. Plus 16. And then I think we're going to, like, end turn twice, and then we'll win. End turn once. Public space transport? Sure. Atmosphere's up? Sure. Don't need any of them. I'll enter in uh, one more time. I'll satellite, and then I'll enter in one more time. I'll explore. Sure. Don't need them. Sure. Build my last house. Plus five trade routes. A new home. House all of Earth's refugees and have no slums. Now we are allowed to win the game. Put down your birds of paradise. Put down a single plant that doesn't currently grow on the planet. Probably good enough. Yeah, good enough. Turn 58 and not optimal play. We probably could have been done with that quite a bit faster if we remembered how the game works. But a win is a win. So we'll pop back to main menu and let's see, 722. That took us an hour and 20. If the other game takes us an hour and 20, it'd be done at 840. That's a little too close to Guild Wars reset, unfortunately. So I think I am probably going to be a one video Marty today, but I'm pleased because I don't think that we have forgotten that much about the game. So over the weekend, I'm probably gonna try and knock out these four and then we're down to 36 and 45. But I feel like we've got a good formula. I feel like we've got a good understanding of how the game is designed to be played at a fundamental level. I think we've learned a, a lot of good high-level strats, and so I don't, maybe famous last words, think 36 and 45 are going to be that much more difficult than the one that we just did. Whether that's actually true or not, you know what, I'll look at it. Because that was 120. We only had to get to 140. We could have done 140 that game. That could have been a win at Mastery 45. I don't think it's going to be that bad. Will it actually be that bad? You'll have to watch next time I'm streaming to find out. Because I don't keep a very regular schedule, the best way to know when I am streaming next and you get to find out is by hopping in the Discord and giving yourself the Twitch pings roll. That way you will know anytime I'm going live. There's also the VODs channel if you wanted to watch some other Terraformers games and see just how bad we used to be in the past. Because believe it or not, we've lost games before. I'm going to go downstairs, grab some dinner, get ready for Guild Wars Reset. If you're a fan of that kind of stuff, uh, the MMO PvP gameplay will be back in about an hour and a half, hour and 40 minutes, something like that. Uh, other than that, I'll catch you around this weekend sometime for a bit more Terraformers and maybe a little bit of Project Zomboid if I can make the time. But until then, take care. Enjoy the rest of your day.